just woke up. Gonna turn off the music because I've been listening to Christmas songs on YouTube. Um, yeah, so I slept in today because I was editing Vlogmas yesterday till super late. He was like, I'm gonna sleep in today. So we're listening to Christmas music. Just like snuggling in bed together. By the way, these are our favorite bedroom mood sheets. Percale cotton, best of the best. And if you're looking for a Christmas present, it's a great choice. So now um, we'll go out for a walk and then we're gonna come back. I think I'm gonna make some pancakes and then I just wanna watch like Home Alone in bed. I just wanna have a proper weekend, a really chill day. Are we going out? Dorian? Should we? <laughs> also, I just want to show you how the ranunculus has opened. Look at this. So beautiful. And the pirate tulip as well. Look at this masterpiece. Oh, by the way, have you ever seen roses like this? I mean, I haven't. Wow. It's super cozy at home today. Really, really dark outside, but you know, we're creating a cozy mood with the lights and I'm gonna light the candles. I'm gonna burn some cedar wood incense as well. I'm still on the Christmas playlist, so as I said, I'm gonna go make the pancakes now and have them in bed, cause why not? How could this be the Christmas round the corner? I lean and hear calling, and I know I'll be there. Because Christmas is a brand calendar so today I'm gonna open day three okay. here we go have that with my coffee and let's open day four as well but I still need to leave a few for office I think well, he's not the biggest fan of chocolate, so maybe I can just eat them all myself. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. That first cup of coffee of the day. So breakfast in bed. Dorian came to join me. And uh, apparently there's no Home Alone on Netflix, so I'm gonna watch Matilda instead, which I love so much. <laughs> I just made this arrangement. Um, it's one of my favorite color combinations, orange, green, and white. Um, and I love how it turned out. I love the um, shape that ranunculus gives with its poppy-like stems um, and these pear tulips are something else so yeah and the vase is vintage 
So is the lamp. I'm gonna photograph it now for Umi Floral. Hey guys, so you might be confused with a different scene. Uh, I'm at my parents' kitchen. I came over for a family lunch. Linda and I will have um, a games or movies night tonight. But I brought this bag with a bunch of my current beauty favorites because I wanted to show you guys what are my um, favorite products at the moment. By the way, my mom just trimmed uh, the ends of my hair so it looks a lot fresher. Let's actually start with hair. I've been really enjoying the newest uh, hair care range from Kerastase. I worked with them advertising this range and I really fell in love with the product, especially the shampoo and the mask, which I actually finished last night. Um, so this is balancing shampoo for oily roots and sensitized lengths, which is my hair type. I'm pretty much out of it. It's a really good shampoo for hair like mine it gets greasy pretty quickly like i wash my hair every day actually i shouldn't um, i mean i can do with washing it every second day on the second day i will use some dry shampoo but this one it actually i think prolongs the the washing and the hair looks pretty good the second day even so yeah check out this range it's really good and the mask uh the one in the white pot so so good it's a hydrating mask makes your hair super silky in terms of styling products i've been really into this matte paste from four reasons um this is what it looks like and i love the smell of it it just smells incredible so what i use it for is i do like uh doing a sleek bun so i'll pull all of my hair back and then i want these bits to be super tight and sleek without any flyaways so what i do i basically use a matte paste like this to just sleek everything down sometimes i'll use Rocco's paste but this is something that he uses on his hair so now let's move on to some skincare and some body care so you guys might know by now that i'm the ambassador of uh, Lithuanian skincare brand Odda. So I've been using their products regularly on a daily basis for like four or five months now. And one of their newest products is the foundation for sensitive skin, which I really, really like. I have it on my skin right now. Um, it looks super dark when it comes out of the tube. So don't let that scare you off because it's a very light texture so it sort of adapts to your skin color and it evens everything out and it leaves a matte finish um, so you don't need to use powder on top. So I really like it. It's got SPF 15, UV and UVB protection. I've been really enjoying this one especially if I don't want anything cakey because this doesn't feel like makeup. It doesn't feel like you have foundation on so I like it a lot. This is probably the newest discovery, but um, I tried these drops by Isle of Paradise in Medium. They're self tanning drops. So I use my regular skincare, my Oda moisturizer, and then I put a few drops of this. Like last night, I put three drops, and it just gives you a little bit of color. It says you can add from one to 12 drops to your favorite moisturizer. Now the first time that I used it I did six drops and then I also sprayed tanning water on my skin and went to sleep and in the morning I woke up looking you know not the best you can see in some of the first vlogmas videos where I got these products and I was so excited and I was just basically too liberal with them so you need a small amount so three drops like every second day, every few days is good, I think. I like having a little bit of color. I mean, I enjoy my pale skin, but I enjoy having a bit of color and looking sun-kissed. I just feel like I look healthier this way and it also evens out your skin tone. Glowy, a little, have a little bit of color. So, I really like these drops. Then, for my body, I've been really loving this Grown Alchemist Intensive Body Cream with damask rose acai and pomegranate oh my goodness such a good body cream and it doesn't smell artificial it's got a beautiful rose scent and um, it's got really good natural ingredients an australian brand it's toxic free cruelty free vegan product um so yeah 
the quality is amazing makes your skin so soft and you smell like roses afterwards so love 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 that this is a great christmas present for someone um so i think i'm gonna get it for one of my friends okay then another body care product this is by han they do amazing uh hand sanitizers that you just spritz they sort of come in a similar packaging but this is their hand cream in fig fizz so 96 percent natural origin this hand cream is everything it just first of all I love the scent second of all it just leaves your hands so silky soft I mean it's unlike any of the hand creams that I've tried before but it just smells super fresh it it doesn't leave any greasiness you know that greasy film that some um, hand creams leave none of that and your hands just feel like satin honestly i adore it and also very cute packaging so i love it i think i'm gonna go through this really quickly this season and they also release toothpastes and hand soaps so this brand is expanding and i'm loving their products this is good onia eucalyptus and mint uh, toothpaste again 96 percent natural origin so Han, definitely a brand to check out. Really, really good products and cute packaging. I know that this year I'm definitely getting these for Christmas for the people in my life. These products are amazing. And then another Grown Alchemist product. It's their Roll On Deodorant with Icelandic Moss and Sage Complex. So this is definitely a unisex deodorant. Rokas adores the scent of it. If you know someone who doesn't like you know floral scents or like a typical deodorant scent if they are into sort of deeper scents like woodsy more natural scents get them this deodorant it's incredible so yeah it does sort of smell like men's perfume yeah like very woodsy and earthy and just gorgeous so and it comes in a glass bottle as well so it's a beautiful deodorant again another great Christmas gift idea um, because not many people would go out of their way to get a fancier deodorant like this but such a nice present okay now let's move on to makeup uh, as always I'm pretty simple with my makeup I don't like anything too much too cakey like a glowy face so I've been using Glossier products Glossier blushes like are everything like they're my love all year round but these are some of the products that i've been loving recently so one of them is armani luminous silk hydrating primer when i went to get my wedding makeup test done the artist said that my skin is pretty dry i would need to use something hydrating on my wedding day and prior to that so this came to my mind i remember that i had this uh hydrating primer and this is definitely going to be a part of my wedding day i mean it just leaves your skin so plump and dewy and hydrated and just luminous it's amazing so like before your makeup if you want that beautiful glow check this out um and i just love the texture of it it just feels amazing on your skin uh, so there will be lots of Armani products um, from the Luminous Silk range because I adore them. I love Armani makeup so much. Like really good quality products. So another one is Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer. So you can use this all over your skin. I have it. Um, it's just called yeah Fluid Sheer. It doesn't. It's in number one. I guess it comes in different shades. So this stuff will last forever because you need the tiniest amount and can you see that glow that it gives? So what I do is I take the tiny, like half of the pump, honestly you need this little, I rub it between my fingers and then I just go like this on my cheekbones. So my cheekbones center of my nose my cupid's bow on my brow bone and yeah it just makes your skin glow makes you super dewy and luminous and it's amazing how much product you get in here so this should last me for a long long time 
and I also want to try their liquid blushes that come in the same bottle so if any of you have tried Armani liquid blushes let me know if they stay well on your skin um, because I'm running out of my Glossier blushes and I would like to try a new like liquid or cream blush some more Armani stuff sorry guys but honestly their products are great and I've been truly loving them uh, their liquid eyeshadows I have four different shades these are in 11 and 42 and I have them on my eyes right now but because I'm so low maintenance when it comes to eyeshadows I love something like this it comes with a doe foot applicator so I just go like this on my eyelid blend it out with my finger and you're good to go uh, they're sort of foolproof eyeshadows they will crease throughout the day because I mean they're liquid shadows um, but they give you that beautiful glow luminosity so this is all I want for from my eyeshadow and I use this sort of champagne color in 42 just in my inner corners to yeah just brighten this area I've been really into these Maybelline lifter glosses with hyaluronic acid so I have one in nude which is stone and silk and I do have two more I used up one completely in this sort of um, clear sparkly color I think it was called moon or moonshine and then I have a more of a pinky one but these are so good yeah just perfect glosses they have quite a bit of a pigment and they're not sticky they feel comfortable they smell good so I really like them so on a daily basis I just do lip liner and then I use a lip gloss on top and that's it so talking about lip liner I've been enjoying two lip liners recently uh, so Max Soar which is sort of a like a dusty rose color I want to say yeah it's quite pink um, and then a NYX lip liner in the nude color can't remember exactly what it's called but it's just one of NYX's nude lip liners they're great so this is what I use and lastly the biggest current favorite would have to be my Bayredo Latuli perfume I'm just so in love with it. This was a present from Rokas for our one year anniversary. I picked it out myself because I knew I liked this scent. Like I want to bathe in it. It smells like an expensive soap which is the type of perfume that I like to wear on a daily basis. I don't know, it just feels like me. A very me scent. I feel so comfortable wearing it and I just mm, so 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 in love with it. So let to leap. And I love the name as well and I love tulips. Today was supposed to be a gift shopping and gift idea vlogmas but I want to do my Christmas shopping when we're back to Vilnius. Just a better selection of presents that I can get to my loved ones. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next vlogmas. Bye!